In the typhoon season, the threat to the port of Tokyo from one kind of major natural disaster increases. That is storm surges. The port of Tokyo has suffered storm surge damage from numerous typhoons for centuries. Storm surges are mainly caused by a suction effect and a wind blowing effect. When a typhoon approaches, air pressure drops. The atmosphere's power to hold down the ocean in the vicinity of the typhoon weakens and the sea level is sucked up. In addition, the seawater is whipped up by the typhoon slams into the coast, has nowhere to go, and the sea level rises further. So why do storm surges pose a threat to Tokyo? Because the coastal regions and the eastern part of the 23 wards are lower lying than the anticipated storm surge height, and when typhoons blow up, the sea level tends to rise because of the topography. The Bureau of Port and Harbor is developing coastal protection facilities to prevent damage from storm surges. The key is seawalls. Their height was based on the Ise Bay Typhoon, which triggered the worst storm surge in Japan's history. We surround the low-lying coastal areas with these seawalls. The parts interrupted by canals and roads are blocked off with floodgates and inland locks to prevent flooding from the sea. And if the water in the inside canals increases, it's pumped out by drainage pump stations. This is the second storm surge management center located in Konan, Minato Ward. The center monitors Port of Tokyo conditions 24 hours a day and operates the floodgates and other equipment. Shiodomegawa floodgate closing. The floodgates take less than 10 minutes to close from the start of operation. The center also closes the inland lock gates, which are like inland seawalls. With the floodgates and inland locks closed, the drainage pump station pumps water caused by heavy rain into the sea to prevent the canals from overflowing. By pumping the water out and controlling the rise in the canal water level, the city is protected from flooding. But what would happen if a tsunami as powerful as the one triggered by the Great East Japan earthquake occurred? Projections put the maximum height of a tsunami approaching the port of Tokyo at around 2.6 meters above sea level. With the sea walls 3.5 to 7 meters high based on the height of storm surges, the port is also well protected against tsunamis. The seawalls and floodgates are currently undergoing reinforcement to strengthen them against the largest earthquakes and tsunamis projected. We are also working to strengthen mutual backup systems and have two storm surge management centers that remotely operate floodgates and other equipment. And that's how Tokyo is kept safe. The port of Tokyo is protected from storm surges and tsunamis by these coastal protection facilities. The Bureau of Port and Harbor will continue to take all possible measures 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. <laughs>